How's it going everybody? This is Levi with Flute Fight VFX here to bring you another quick tutorial, this time on green screen compositing and motion tracking for a difficult green screen shot. So here we have our original, actually our final uh, version here uh, from the tutorial. And this shows our actresses kind of walking toward the camera. We've got uh, a backdrop in there. Of course that background is uh, put in digitally. I'll show you guys real quick just the original shot. There we are. There's the original shot of the green screen set. And uh, that's what we're going to be working with. So we'll go ahead, we'll start by creating a new project and then we'll get started. All right, so we have a new project here. So what we're going to do first is take our footage, drop it onto our new comp icon, and I'll rename this footage clean plates just to keep things organized. And when it came to this shot, one thing that I initially tried to do was a camera tracker, a camera solve for this particular shot. And it really didn't work very well because there weren't a lot of high contrast details in the background. And so the tracker points all wanted to focus on our main actress here. And so what we're gonna do instead is use another effect called Mocha AE, it's by Forest Effects. And it comes pre-installed with uh, all the latest versions of Adobe After Effects. So we'll apply that and then we'll go ahead and launch Mocha. Now that Mocha's open, we need to find a spot on the shot that stays in view at all times, whether or not it blurs out. And I found that this uh, orange plus sign that's taped to the green screen backdrop works just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and take our X spline tool. We will uh, we'll make some adjustments here, get it nice and tight. Oops. Get it nice and tight on the plus sign. And then we're gonna deselect rotation and shear, turn up the minimum pixels used, and go ahead and track forward. All right, and even though it blurred out at the end, it held on real nice. We'll go ahead and we'll show our surface planar and then expand that to the edges so you guys can see here what the background's gonna look like. The corners of that box are gonna be the corners of our backdrop. So now that that's done, I'll rename layer one. We'll just call this uh, BG Track. We'll close Mocha and make sure to select Save. Now that that's done, we can go back to our project panel, take our backdrop image and drop it in. Now in order for this to expand to the surface plane, our edges, uh, from our track, we need to make it the same size as the comp. So we'll go to transform, fit to comp, or control alt F uh, for those shortcut users. And then we'll pre-compose this as well. And we'll just name this VG for background. And with the clean plate selected, if we go back to the effects controls, and drop down tracking data, we can create tracking data from that background track that we did inside Mocha. And if we choose corner pin plus supporting motion blur and our background as the export layer, the layer we're gonna export all that tracking data to and click apply export, we'll now see that that background has the movements from our track. So it's looking good so far. The next thing that we're gonna do is take our background layer and drop it underneath our clean plate and do our green screen key here for the clean plate. So we're gonna apply an effect called key light, but we're not gonna do the key light 1.2, we're gonna do key light plus key cleaner plus advanced spill suppressor. And this is gonna help us out with our gray quite significantly. So for the screen color, we'll choose the green that's closest to our actress, and then we'll drop it from intermediate result to screen mat to give us a white and black representation or an alpha representation. And then we will go ahead and drop down the screen mat settings, We'll clip the black, and then we'll clip the white back down, which should fill in our, our actresses uh, fairly nice. We'll then go and turn that back to intermediate result. We'll scroll down and we'll activate the spill suppressor. So you're gonna see there's a lot of green spill in this shot, even around the edges of our actresses. But when we click on that uh, advanced spill suppressor, it's going to just go ahead and jostle that all the way. So we're looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and get a RAM preview here. Other than some of those uh, marks still showing up, uh, the track looks pretty nice. The background is tracked into the shot rather smoothly, I would say. The next thing I would consider doing is scaling up the background. So if we hit S and we select scale, it's going to essentially apply the transformation we apply here across all of the keyframes evenly. You'll wanna see that these are all highlighted. So we'll scale that background up. Maybe even a little bit more. And if we hit the P key 
and select position, we can also kind of move the shot around across all the keyframes to find a frame that we like to work with. And that looks pretty good. The next thing that I want to do is scale up the shot because we have part of that green screen, if I were to shut these effects off, that wasn't clipped out. And so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, select both layers, choose scale, we'll highlight everything, and then we'll scale those up until they're no longer uh, causing any issues. And we'll, we'll go ahead and get rid of the black frames as well, the title frames at the top and the bottom. And then we'll take the position. of our background and we'll take the the position of our clean plate by control clicking on both and we'll kind of maneuver this around until we find a frame that we like and just like that we've done a little bit of reframing we've got our background plate placed in it's tracked into the shot uh, one thing that we can do now uh, just for fun and safe measure is go ahead and minimize all these what we can do is uh, blur out the background so we'll take the background layer we'll apply an effect called camera lens blur that's going to blur our background a little bit we'll increase it to octagon and we'll just push up the the blur amount until we find a reasonable value that we like that's probably a little bit too blurred out but it looks okay to me and there you have it. We've got a shot that was difficult to track. We used Mocha AE to track it, get the translation and position data for our background, applied the track to our background, blurred it out a bit. Uh, there's a couple final touches that we could do, like uh, color grading, doing a light wrap around our actresses to make them seamlessly fit into the green screen backdrop a little bit more. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick how to do a clean track on a difficult shot uh, for green screen compositing, and then how to get the, uh, the best use out of the built-in key light effects for Adobe After Effects. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful, please like and follow my page. We'll be posting tutorials uh, into, the, into the near future across the Adobe product suite, uh, it's particularly Adobe After Effects. Again, I thank you guys for your time and watching this video. If you like the page, again, subscribe and like to it, and we'll see you next time.